uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how to um, set up a Spring MVC project using Java classes instead of using XML file um, so uh, this class when you extend for old abstract annotation configure dispatch servlet initializer this is how to configure for your dispatch servlet normally you have to have web.xml file then you have to configure there for the dispatch servlet right and uh, here this is a corresponding class compared with xml web.xml it has uh, three methods you have to override okay you have to provide implementation the first one is uh, you are not gonna use for this uh, demo because for web a web application okay this one is to find all the application context for the root mostly in this class you are configured for what configure for your spring security you might uh, configure for your connection to a database but uh, we just start out start up so we don't need to any class for this one but we have to have this one this is whatever you configured in that Spring MVC config.xml file. You have to do corresponding configurations inside the web application context config.class. Okay. Next one is if you still remember, you have a URL pattern inside your web.xml, and that's the thing you have to config in this method, which you have a slash. Okay. And what does this piece here? Uh, in Eclipse, if you declare your project is a web application project, which means in the POM, you declare your project packaging as a WAR file. But if Eclipse doesn't, cannot find any web.xml, it's going to have a warning, okay, or error. So when you have this plugin, put in a poem it can solve that error which means for this project we don't have web.xml and if you are using IntelliJ there is no problem on that next one Java config what is this class this class is you configured here okay for all the configurations for web spring web you've put it here and in this file you can do two ways. The first way is you extend web MVC configure adapter. And you have another way which is directly implements web MVC configure interface. And the difference between them is um, before Java 8, in an interface, you cannot have uh, implementations. And since the change of Java 8, you can have default implementations in an interface. So in Spring 5, uh, you don't need, you no longer need for this adapter. It's a deprecated. You can directly use the interface itself. And uh, then you can have a, a configuration, this annotation. Uh, when you add this annotation, it means inside of this class, you can declare bins. And you can also add enable web MVC. This one is to import some special Spring MVC configurations, like you can use in request prom, you can use in path variables, request mapping, get mapping, those annotations. And a component scan is the same as you configured in the web uh, XML version, like uh, tell Spring how to find all the bins you ask Spring to initialize. We will talk about this configuration later. This one is enabled for the static resources. And next one is uh, we have to configure for the view resolvers. Okay, and in the view resolver, you have the prefix and you have the suffix. In the, if you configure for the view resolver inside your spring, me, uh, controller methods you don't need to have the entire path for the GSP you want to forward you just provide the GSP files name okay next slide we have is this is your configuration view resolver corresponding to this one this is your configuration for your view resolver 
and uh, if you're in the controller, you say welcome. And it's gonna using the view reserver to actually find the, the GSP files. That's it. Thank you. And uh, in my next video, I'm gonna show you the how to set up everything using IntelliJ. See you in my next video.